Number 16 says each of the following objects has a radius of 0 0.184 meters and a mass of 2.5 kilograms and each rotates about an axis through its center as in the table below with an angular speed of 35.9 radians per second. Find the magnitude of the angular momentum of each object. And so the objects that it lists are a hoop, a solid cylinder, a solid sphere and a and a hollow spherical shell. And so this is what um, this is basically what I did. I set up a uh, a spreadsheet so I could do all of these at once. So I I have a I have hoop typed in, solid cylinder, a solid sphere, and a hollow sphere. And I've got K, R, mass, and angular speed. And so we got to fill in each of these, but most of them are the same stuff. So uh, if you've been watching these videos, you'll know that K, I've defined K as, as this number right here. So K right here would be 1 two-fifths, one-half, or two-thirds. So the hoop is one, the cylinder is uh, one-half, the sphere is one-fifth, and the sphere is one-third. And now the radius, the mass, and the angular speed is the, um, is the same for everything else. So you can type, you can put in 0 0.184, and that goes all the way across. Um, but I'll go ahead and write it in. And then the mass is 2.5, and that'll go all the way across. And the angular speed is 35.9, and that will go all the way across. Okay, so now that we have this all set up, what we need to know is what we're looking for. And it says that it wants the angular momentum for each object. So angular momentum, L, is defined as the moment of inertia times the angular speed. And so you might remember um, the, the regular momentum is equal to, so P is equal to mass times velocity. And I've said in one of the, video, in the uh, recent videos that mass and moment of inertia are um, an analogous as well as the angular speed is analogous to the velocity. And so now we, we see that we have one more analog, which is momentum is analogous to the angular momentum. So we want to break down I into its component parts. So we, we've defined I in uh, recent videos as uh, some proportionality constant times mass times the radius squared. So we can say that, that the angular momentum is equal to kmr squared times angular speed. So we got k, uh, radius squared, mass, and angular speed. So all we have to do is come over here and, and put another column and fill in uh, and do the math. So k times r squared times, and just make sure you have to square that that number. You're not just ty you're not just going to put in 0 0.184. You're going to put in uh, 0 0.184 squared, which is 0 0.033856. And so then you, you get it all put in, um, and you're going to get the, mom, the angular momentum of the hoop is 3.039, of the cylinder is 1.519, of the solid sphere is 1.2154, and of the hollow sphere is 2.0257. And what you may notice is that if you were to multiply radius times mass times angular speed, it's going to stay the same every time. So it's just uh, for 3.039, and then on all of the, and then so you could take that number and times it by point, point 0.5 or, and get this number, or you could times it by point 0.4 to get this number, or you could times it by uh, one third or two thirds to get this number.